first time in Coach Elias. Today we've got a couple of drills for you. We have a speed drill and an endurance drill. So give us a lowdown on the speed drill. Elias. Okay, okay. So on the speed drill, very simple. We have the player start at the right corner, so at the backhand corner. You sprint to your forehand and then you get a short one to your backhand. After that, you rest for about 40 seconds. And here it's really important that you go all out. All out. Uh, so you run so as you have fast. To be recovered. Exactly. You want to be recovered. You want to so be recovered so you can go as fast as you can. Because yeah. the idea of speed training is you want to be recovered so you can train as fast as possible yeah. and have your system, like we said, recovered. And that's how you really build speed. Yeah. So this is the difference to our endurance program. We want to have the rest not as as high yeah. as we would have on the on the speed drill yeah. so really make sure you take about 40 seconds you can go longer if you want to yeah. so again you're recovered and yeah. then for this drill we recommend going between three to five rounds three to five seconds. exactly yeah, at least. pull yeah. out yeah, pull, pull out speed go you could even as do you can. more you can do as many as you want yeah but make sure your fitness exactly program. make yeah. sure you are recovered that's yeah. the big thing for yeah. speed yeah. We, we train for speed, so by running, by fast. running fast, exactly, exactly, and then recovering long. So it's not that hard on your system, then it would be as working on endurance, because that's when you right. are really going to feel it. All right, so let's do the speed first, then we'll talk a little bit about the endurance. All right. Let's okay. okay, so that was the drill. Now I'm taking 40 seconds to really recover my body and then I go again. Now, as I said, it feels easy, but it's effective because we're really working on the highest speed we can get. All right, so I would do that minimum five times. If you feel you need more, of course, go ahead and do more. But like we said, the key thing is make sure you have adequate recovery in between. Now, if you want to take that drill to the next level and, inc and include some explosiveness to it as well, we've put there three hurdles, or those are three cones, you can use hurdles as well. And now I'm going to jump over those hurdles in a sideways manner, as you will see. And then I'm sprinting to the sideways wall and then to the short one. Okay, so that's the speed drill that you're going to use. That's going to make you faster on the court. Exactly, and adding those hurdles and those cones more explosive. is going to help you to become more explosive. So if you feel that the drill alone is too easy for you or you need something extra to push you, include those hurdles and you really feel yeah. it gets way harder okay. with the hurdles. Yeah. All right, now we're going to move on to the endurance drill. So how do you work that, Elias? All right, so for the tennis endurance, I would pick something that's very similar to our tennis match. But we got to go high interval, and then we get a rest in between as well. Okay. So a drill, I like... But the rest that you're uh -huh. going to get is going to be similar to a exactly, match. Right? Exactly. So maybe 20, 20 seconds, that's 20 it. 20 to 30 seconds, yeah. not more. Yeah. So that way we really bring our heart rate up. Bring it down, but not down as if it would be as a resting heart rate. Yes. So that's the key. And the drill I really like for that is a simple one. We just go about 15 to 20 shots. Again, it depends on your fitness level. Just forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. And then just get a 20 to 30 second rest in between. And then go go again. Go again. And yes. how, many time, how many sets? I would recommend between three and five sets. Okay. Now, again, it depends on your fitness level. If you feel you can go more, again, go for more. If you're yeah. super fit, you can go for more than five rounds again. Yeah. But that's something that is really going to build your tennis endurance yeah. okay. up in a fast way. And we also build some strength as well during that drill as well. Yeah. Strength endurance. Exactly. Yeah. So when you're in that third set, you can still, you can still get that racket acceleration. Exactly. Yeah. Okay.
the first set. You can see I'm breathing heavy. Well, it's not easy. I'm resting for about 20 to 30 seconds. And then I go again. guys that was round number two again I'm breathing heavier I can feel that it's really elevating my heart rate I take between 20 and 30 seconds rest and I'm about to go again <laughs> Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. Please give us a like, a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the channel. So there you have it, a speed drill and an endurance drill. Now that endurance drill is awesome. That's really gonna help you. Very tennis specific because you're only taking 20 to 30 seconds in between rounds. And Elias was hitting 20 balls. You may not need to hit that many. Yeah. I mean, even 10, you're gonna benefit. Yeah, exactly. And the key there is really push yourself through these exercises, whether you do 10, 15, 20, then like we said, take a short rest. So we really train our system to recover faster and to also be able to push through because sometimes we're going to have longer matches where our endurance is going to matter. And this drill is a great tennis specific high intensity drill. Yeah, yeah. All right, Elias. Great job, man. Thank you, Tom. All the best, guys. Make it a great one.